Hello, you all. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sheba, and I'm on here to share a project share with you all for the hashtag 757 Use Those Dollar Tree Stickers collab. Um, of course, it's myself. It is Don, who is there to be creative. It's Lisa, who is Miss Little Scrappy. Susan, who is Suzy Q Crafter 21. They all have YouTube channels. And then there is Donna, who does not have a YouTube channel, but she does have an IG, which is D-D-E-E -E underscore K underscore crafts. So you guys, I'll have the link to their Instagram and YouTube channels below. Go over and check out those ladies and let them know that I sent you. They would love to have you. And of course, go over there and follow Donna because she would love to have you as a follower on IG. So you guys, um, we do upload every second Sunday of every month. Um, this is a year-long collab using our Dollar Tree stickers. So this is a very challenging for myself collab, you guys, because we find all these cute stickers at the Dollar Tree. and But when it's time to create with them, it's challenging. So yeah. So, you know, I do my best every month since we've been doing this collab to see what I can come up with and create and share with you all. Um, but before I get started with that, I hope that you're all having a wonderful day. So happy Sunday to you all. And as always, I'd like to thank all of my new and my returning subscribers for coming back to my channel and watching my videos. I appreciate each and every one of you all so much for that. So thank you guys. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to share with you guys what I did use first. And then I will share what I created. So I did use this paper pad that I got from... Hobby Lobby clearance, This pa the last clearance that they had, I paid $5.49 for it, and it's the Paper Studio Boho Vibes. And I'll just do another quick flip. I had shared this when I did my haul. So, yeah, so that's what it looks like. And I, you get, like, three pages of each. So, yeah, so that is the paper. Just a quick flip. And then I also used, that I got a couple years ago, uh, this is the Love You Latte, and it's a hot buy paper pad from Michaels. And you guys, if you know me, you've been following me for a while, you know that I love my coffee, so I had to create something with a coffee theme. So yeah, so this paper is a really fun paper pad to use. I love this particular one with all the coffee cups, and just got a lot of fun coffee papers and donuts and coffee beans just a lot of fun paper in here so i've used this before so i think it's like my second time using it so yeah so i use those paper pads and then the dies that i used <clears throat> which will let you know what i created so the first die that i used is this one right here i got from tuesday morning by firefly and i use this particular die right here and then, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys, I did use this particular memory disk die. So that lets you know what I created. I made some memory disk cards. So I use this one, which has a really like delicate or intricate design at the top. And then I also use a little layering piece right here on the inside and use the fence though. So I use that. And this came from Allie. This also came from Allie. And I use this die, which has the heart border detail around the border and then i also use the uh, layering die that goes with that and then this one is the butterfly one so it looks just like the heart but it has the butterfly border and then i also use the layering die for that one i did use some bling that i got from uh, dollar tree so i used some of that and then i used this sticker, one of the one of the stickers from Crafter Square, and I use one of the butterflies from that pack. And then you guys, this lets you know, <clears throat> excuse me, this lets you know how many times you go buy the same sticker more than one time. Because I bought three of these stickers, you guys, three of them, because I forgot I had the other two, so I wanted with three packs. So I use the elephant sticker from this and then right here on the love sticker it had like a little uh, it was like a pop-up sticker with the same print of the feathers so I used it from both of those so that's what I use so yeah so and the reason why it's on this sheet right here because I used to store my stickers in a uh, what do you call it a binder and I don't do that anymore I would have them inside of a sleeve and then inside of a binder 
but I changed the way I store my stickers. So that's why they're not in the packaging like this one is. So yeah, so I got, I use those stickers or some of those stickers. And then here we go again with some duplicates. So I used the bird sticker right here. Um, I did actually, cause it looks like this one, you know, one sticker, but I did cut the, I, you know, cut the birds to have two pieces. So I use that. And then I also use the flower stickers from this pack, two of the stickers. And this is like a watercolor type sticker. So yeah, so I kind of just stuck with this, the same thing, if you can see. And then I use this sticker and this is like a coffee and uh, tea theme sticker. So of course I use that one and then I use the three coffee cups that's missing at the top. So those are the stickers that I use. And I know you guys, I have, when I've been going through my stickers, I have been finding doubles and triples of the same stickers, you guys. So yeah. All right, so let's share with you guys what I created. So the first memory decks card that I created is this one using that particular memory decks uh, die. And it's got this really like delicate uh, top here at the top of the uh, memory decks card. So if I was to, you know, uh, get to send this to someone, I would probably put some acetate behind here and then put another layer of 110 pound cardstock to cover up the back because um, this is so delicate and I would hate for it to rip, you know, come off of here. So yeah, as you can see, it's really delicate. So yeah, so that's the memory decks base that I use. The paper is from the Boho paper pad and it has dream catchers on it, but of course it's covered up. And then this, uh, this pinkish purple paper on the top, it's that layering piece that comes with the die. Um, I did layer that on a hundred 10 pound cardstock as well for some sturdiness and then it's on some phone tape and so i put the elephant that's on because it's a pop-up sticker so i put that down and then i also put some bling from the dollar tree on each side just to give it some bling and then there's those two feather stickers that are on phone tape as well for some dimension on each corner so that is the first memory index card that i made so yeah i'm not really good at boho Theme projects you guys so this is what I came up with so that's the first one the second one is my favorite and this is my coffee theme one so I use the uh, heart memory Dex border die and I also use the layering piece from that one layered up twice along with the memory Dex card on 110 pound cardstock um, I did put a doily down first and then I put that image on top that says I love coffee which I do. It's got the little coffee beans and the flower. And then this spoon right here is from that sticker pack. And then I just layered the three coffee cups on the end here. And they're all on some foam tape for, the, for some dimension, even the spoon is. And I think that turned out really cute. And the paper has coffee beans all over it. Really cute. And the last one that I created, not my favorite, but it's still cute. And this is what it looks like. So this one right here has the butterfly border cut out. And then I did uh, the same thing, use that layering piece from the die, layered on 110 pound cardstock on some foam tape, just for some thickness. And then <clears throat> here's the two flower uh, stickers from that pack. This happy day is from another sticker sheet from Dollar Tree that they had a couple years ago. Here is that butterfly sticker from that butterfly sticker pack. I put some uh, bling right here, the little three bling pink, three pink blings right here. And then there's those other stickers from that bird sticker pack. And it's on top of this die that has a little heart cutouts that I got from Tuesday morning. And that is my third memory decks card, you guys. So I think they all turned out pretty cute, you guys. But this one right here, of course, is my favorite, the coffee theme one. Yes, you guys. So this is my project share for the hashtag 757 Use Those Dollar Tree Stickers collab. So I hope that you all enjoyed my project share. Again, you guys go check out the other ladies in the collab. Let them know that I sent you. And please subscribe if you're not subscribed to them. They would love to have you. And of course, Donna would love for you to follow her on IG. 
So, again, I do want to thank you all so much for watching. You all have a great rest of your day. Have a great week ahead. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye, you guys.